hello everyone and welcome back to another video so in the last video i went through how to create a character sheet and get various angles emotions and poses and so on so i even used the open pose image like this one here as a reference to get the exact pose of our character and then we also talked about the, the consistency and how we can solve it in this video i'm going to show you something else so this one here this image originally his hair was another color it was brown but we can just change something like that by just writing make hair black so what i try to do instead of using my other workflow which is that i generate the character and the different elements as background and the second character separately and i put them together in photoshop i try to do it inside of chat gpt so I'm using the GPT-40 and the create image, the new feature. So this is not the doll E, this is the new GPT-40 model. All right, so I wrote, after changing the color of his hair to black, I wrote, using this character, create a horizontal image where he rides a bike in a magical forest, keep it in the same style. And it created this, which is really good. We have the same colors. We have the same blue dress and we have the white sneakers and he looks happy. And then I wrote, can you turn this into a horizontal image and pan to the left where a girl character wearing a yellow dress is visible? Then we got this one here. So what I wanted is this image, but I wanted it to like just add the girl somewhere here, but it didn't do that i believe there are other ways to do it like if you expand and use that workflow instead to put another girl that would work but however i got this image it's still consistent it looks great and like there are some minor differences like you see the shirt beneath it like it's blue here but i believe in this image it looks black or it might be an artifact or something but like all of those things can be changed very easily inside of photoshop so you can fix those details and get the exact image that you're looking for. And then I wrote, now make his hair blonde and hair, hair, red, ginger, the exact same image, just changing the hair colors. So it didn't keep the same image, but it did change the color to blonde and hair as well. So to do that, instead of just writing, because here eventually I did get the same result, you see? This one and this one is actually the same image. So to do something like that, just don't like don't write it in the chat. Instead, you need to click on the image and then you need to click on this button here where it says select. And then you'll get this blue button here where it says selection. And then you should just describe. So you can like select a part and change like her face or whatever. But what I did here instead is that I didn't select anything. I just wrote change his hair and change her hair and her dress. So that's how I got this result. So using only the chat, I got this one here when I wanted to have this image. But when I use the edit or the select button here, I got this result, which is exactly what I wanted. So as you see now, like you can create different variations of your illustrations for different people. So let's say you want to create a children's book. You have this one here where it's for a kid who has black hair maybe and a sister with black hair as well. And now maybe somebody else wants to order your book and they want a personalized book. So now you can create the same scene, but you can just change the hair colors and yeah, that, like there are a lot of personalized book companies out there and they make millions of dollars and what they're doing is really great because it makes the children more engaged because they can see themselves in the stories but now you can use chat gpt to do what they're doing so this is a really awesome trick all right and i wrote can you create this scene in pixar animation 3d still inspired and i got this and then i used the other method where i clicked here and i used the select pen and then I said, can you create this scene in Pixar Animation 3D, still inspired? Don't change the angle, composition, just the style into what I asked. I believe I generated all of, a lot of images, so I didn't get the, the image I asked for. And then I said, try now. I got this one here. So I didn't continue to play around with it. But in this video, I also want to show you something else. So this is how you can turn your images into 
animation. So I'm using Kling, Kling AI. I believe this is the best image to video model out there currently. I use the Kling 1.6 model. And then I just uploaded my image here and then you can write the prompt. So this is what I got with the first image. All of the results are not great, but let's make this full screen for better view. So you see that there are some decent, like how the hand, like look at the hand, how it's bouncing on his forearm. Like it's, it's really great. Like small details like that, like. You see that the AI is getting better and better. It's not there yet, but uh, yeah, we got a decent animation. I would not use this. I will instead generate more like the one here. So this is from another image, but yeah, I got this one and I liked it. So they look at each other. So what we can do here, we can actually add AI sound. Okay, so the like the prompt for generating the sounds is bike wheels humming, playful laughter, rustling leaves, chirping birds, a gentle forest breeze. Even the prompt was generated by DeepSeek. They have a feature that you can just click on that generates the text for what it think it should add as a sound. So yeah, otherwise you can just add the sound effects on your own, like download the video and put up the sounds using Adobe Premiere, CapCut or whatever video editing software you're going to use. Uh, Without so, technology. Yeah. So this one here, I used the uh, lip sync. So I wrote without technology, I wouldn't be able to tell the story. Can you imagine that? And I got this. I actually used the woman's voice because I wanted her to say that, but the AI is not there yet or this model at least. So it just put the lip sync on the boy instead. Without technology, I wouldn't be able to tell this story. Can you imagine that? Okay, Without so, technology. so the lip sync is great, the voice is not, so I just generated a new one, adding a voice of a boy instead, and this is what we got. Without technology, I wouldn't be able to tell this story. Can you imagine that? I don't know about you, but I really like what it did for me here, and I believe there are a lot of possibilities with the new GPT-40. The thing is that I would love to create these videos while like generating while you're watching my video. But the thing is, it takes so long to generate these kind of images now that the video will just be unnecessary long and it will not be as interesting for you. So that's why I generate all of those things. Then I create a video about it later. All right. If you have any questions or any concerns, please let me know down below and I will probably make a LinkedIn post because the last one I did, it went viral. Thank you for everybody supporting and I appreciate it and make sure you subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.